Hey guys, Shadehar here with episode 21 of Let's Play Alice, Madness Returns. We stopped right here before this hedge maze coming up, uh, where we're going to have to duck and weave with the Executioner, no doubt. I have a feeling we're drawing pretty close to the Queen of Hearts. Who has so far been nothing but an angry ghost yelling at us? Hysteria is really quite the lifesaver. At least against enemies that you can kill without having to break their. Oh, there he is. this cake will save us. It is quite truthful. Oh, I guess Alice really was a big fan of cake. Oh, we lost our outfit, though. Well, <laughs> I guess we're now going to rampage our way through Castle Hearts. Stomping or pounding. Attack the Queen's Towers to expose her heart. Break down the castle gates that block the way. Well, it's not exactly uh, destroying a city of lungfish, but I guess it'll do. How come the rest of these chess pieces aren't alive? <laughs> Out of my way, wall. Nothing stops Giganto Alice.
Gotta kill that stupid cannon that's shooting at me. strange that we're basically destroying what's left of the queen, even though our objective was to talk to her. But I guess we gotta slap her into shape before we can have a chat. Fuck your chess puzzles. Why is it that only the uh, White King was still alive? All these other pieces are just frozen forever. Overall, the stomp seems a lot more effective than the little slap. I guess the slap's faster. But the stomp has the area of effect, so... Wait, where's the other tentacle I need to pull out? Now oh, it's over there. Coming through. Now she repents and simply wants to rule her terrible zombie kingdom for all of eternity. I need to have a chat. <laughs> Rampage complete. You 
are once two bits of the same psyche. So where does that leave you? And we got our outfit back. Go away! There's no reason to proceed. Ugh. His hand was slimy, Alice. Like an eel from the Isis. And his name won't help. Bumby. If he ever qualifies, his bedside manner will require improvement. What's this? Bumby used to be a horrible creep? Well, he was probably some sort of medical student. Anyhow, into the mouth of madness and all that. You definitely slide a lot faster on this one than usual. That is quite the surplus of teeth we have, I just noticed. I'm gonna spend those right away. Buy us the final hobby horse. Hobby unicorn now. The big, a lot bigger area of effect. Another challenge. Honestly, I much prefer having to do this for a challenge than a harder chess puzzle. Which is what I thought it might be. Uh, I'm gonna have to do this th three times, I guess. Getting shot at.
bubblegum staircase. Excellent. I just noticed that these bottles have the Jabberwocky face on them. Is that who we're going to be seeing in Chapter 5? I've been trying to figure out which character Chapter 5 is going to center around, because I'm pretty sure Chapter 6 is going to be all about the train and the ruined leftovers of Wonderland. But Chapter 5, I'm coming up on a blank for who they'd throw at us next, and I thought, maybe the Jabberwocky? I mean, he was actually a character. He didn't wasn't just a giant monster. But he's also dead. Because we even saw his skeleton at the beginning of this game. Guess we'll just have to wait and see. We're probably pretty close to the end of this chapter killed the executioner and now we're in the very gooey lair of the queen so she must be nearby ah oh yes yeah, all the fun of the gastrointestinal chamber That also killed me. Alice, Alice, you're just not jumping as high as I'm telling you to. Great, now what? Switch. I'm trying to get ahead of myself too much. Everything has a season, Alice. A flower blooms and fades away. Memories, too, have a useful life. We should eliminate the ones that hurt. So I'm, what I'm getting here is that he probably killed Alice's family because of a grudge against Alice's sister, and then became a psychologist to make sure that Alice forgot so she wouldn't rem remember? I mean, that seems pretty far-fetched. But then again, I suppose so does your psychosis materializing as a physical world that you can enter. Is. Huh. 
I was expecting someone else. You don't know your own mind. It's merely a complete stranger. What you claim not to know is merely what you've denied. You've recaptured your vagrant memories. What are you doing with them? You once rejected my attempts to control our lives forcefully. Now you've allowed another to succeed in my role. I won't miss your tentacles. You'd prefer the hot, stinking breath and unyielding attention of a potent, unreasoning, unfeeling Hellraiser? I don't think so. Can you give me more than a warning? Caterpillar said you might help. I'd need a better reason to respond than what's currently on offer. If you don't, we're all doomed. Not doomed. Forgotten. I may survive here, but you're finished. You see the pattern of destruction? I know you do. The train is trying to destroy all evidence of your past, and especially the fire. Now, who would want that? Who benefits from your madness? The destruction of Wonderland is the destruction of me. Indeed, and vice versa. I've set it in motion. I can derail it. This is good for me. I'm not insane. I didn't kill my family. I am fine. I'm not mad. I'm innocent. I, I mean, not guilty. What's happening? What are you doing? The train must be stopped. But there's more to do. Your view conceals a tragedy. The whole truth you claim to see eludes you because you won't look at what's around you. There is no method in this madness. My professional opinion, madness is often a treatable disease, though perhaps not in this case. Authority must be obeyed, or it must be overthrown. Cruel to be kind, that's my technique, as they say. But she's as mad as a hat on poor dearie. Worst is over, and over, and over. Forget it, Alice. Forget it. Can't distinguish reality from illusion. Remember your last journey? An elephant never forgets where she left her trunk. When traveling by train, a valise, never bigger than your head. I may be wrong, your grace, but I doubt it. Down this path of primordial ooze and sideways. Indeed, doctor, well demanded, I'm sure. I mean to say, it's very hot in here. I mean to say, Fuzzy, and she's no helping. Oh no, no help at all. Humiliation, I say. I approve your release, and back you come like a bad penny. Reputation in ruins. People talk, Alice. I'm an old dog, ready to bone. Don't you know? Loyalty. You must never run away from home. Stay, Alice. Sit. Can't tell if this takes place. Previously, when Alice was in the asylum, or this is what happened to us after the police station incident. Anyhow, um, that was episode 21 of Let's Play Alice Madness Returns. I've been Shadefire, and I'll see you next time when we figure out what's going on in this insane asylum. Until then, have yourselves a time. <laughs>